Hi, I'm Robert and I am on Lords Mobile. I'm about to start my very first YouTube video on um, how to play basically if you're new to this account, if you're new to the game. Uh, now, the account that I'm showing you now is only 116 million might, which isn't tremendously big and neither is my other account. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. So if I go ahead and switch account. This is my main account here. As you can see, I have 585 million on this one, which is again, not a tremendously big account, but I've invested far more time into this. Um, as you can see, I have been playing this for about 290 days. I don't think I've missed a single login. So I'm coming up on my one year mark here fairly shortly in a couple months, a little over a couple months and a half. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna create a new account and I'm gonna start fresh and that way I can show you guys not only from a perspective of uh, having 300 days into an account and then on my other on my alternate account there with 116 million might or whatever it was I'm also going to show you brand new how to get started how I would do things if I did them all again um, and I've done this twice now so I've done it once with my main and then with my alt uh, I've gone up into my 80 mark, 80 day mark. Uh, the kingdom just left restriction and protection period. So now I'm going to start over again and I'm just going to walk you through how I would go through that account. Now, first thing we got to do is create a new account. Create a new account in a new kingdom. Your account has been linked and you can return to it. Now, if this says that your account hasn't been linked and you're trying to start a new account, make sure you don't say yes. New account in a new kingdom. Switch accounts confirmed. Now, hopefully it'll keep all my same settings that I already have on this particular device. I'm working on... Okay, so it's not. So what's happening here is it's going through the initial stuff and you can watch that if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and skip through it. Hopefully this will make it all a little bit, bit easier for us all. Here we are. So this is the brand new account. I'm going to skip this as well. It does make you do a couple of little things here before it'll let you do anything else. Tell you to make some troops, for example. All right, and here we are. So I've got my first little bit of information. Let's go ahead and take a look if we can at the kingdom. Ooh, can't until I'm rank eight. So what this does is it's gonna tell me who's in the kingdom with me. Um, I can't see that quite yet. So I'm gonna go out and see if I can just take a quick look around of this kingdom, brand new kingdom. So now it wants me to create a name. And I'm just going to call this Burt Tube. And we can always change your name later. You can go up into here and you can click on that, change your name, or even change your nickname, which right now I don't have a nickname. So let's see. I've got one free one. say gamer Bert. I go by Bert a lot so people will start to see my account and know me. Now let's see if I can back this up here. 
That way as I scoot in and out, we're not seeing my picture change a whole bunch. Now, on this account, I almost always take this away because I get annoyed with it. So I'm going to go into functions. And I'm going to remove a couple things. Recommend quests while in turf. No thanks. And one other thing is auto expand queue. That gets annoying to me. So every time I exit, this thing pops up all the time on me. I don't always want it popped up. I want to control when I see it. So one of the main things that I'm going to do here is turn off well I'll tell you what I'll leave the music and sounds on for now we'll see if that gets annoying over time and if it does I'll go ahead and remove it here we are so first purchase 99 cents details what you get out of it 400 one minute speed ups 105 minute speed ups 105 minute so this is a pretty basic package um, I'm gonna buy packages as we go but I want also to do a couple of things the free way and that way so if you click on this gift and then exit out of that first one you'll have a chest there right away and you can also look at this this is as you upgrade your castles it'll give you gems which will be important later but basically I want to show you both a free way of doing things and a paid way of doing things paid is so much faster and it's gonna help for the videos so I am gonna be using paid but I'll also try and circle back through with basic heroes and try and show you how I would go about running a free account as well now first things first um, I always try to upgrade this castle as much as possible it does increase the cost of doing things um, but let's get all of this information upgraded. Let's pop out this queue. That's going to make it easy, very quick upgrade. Use that free one. Upgrade. Oh, got to have barracks two for that. So let's go ahead and barracks and upgrade that. Free. Upgrade this. Free. Let's go ahead and upgrade everything we can for free as much as we can for free. We'll go do that one more time. Oh, can't do that one yet. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. Six minutes, free. How long can you tell is free? So what you're going to do is you're going to come up to this uh, VIP. And you're going to look at this right here. Free accelerator for seven minutes. So anything that goes over seven minutes, you're not going to get free. So let's say it goes ten minutes. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. So if I upgrade this, it's taking twelve minutes. So if I press on this um, it's got 12 minutes ticking down when it hits the seven minute free mark which again is right here and as you upgrade it'll increase 9 11 13 you get 15 minutes free but what's happening is when it hits that mark all of a sudden this will become free so I'm gonna fast forward it I can click on this and fast forward or I can click on this right here and fast forward and I can use some of my gems that I have now I am going to go ahead and use gyms because I don't have anything else yet. And let's get some guys training. Uh, these T1s aren't very strong. I'm just going to keep on doing grunts for a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more train. Alright, we got that going. So now let's continue to upgrade things. Whatever we can upgrade, we will. For free, let's go ahead and expand that again so we can do that quicker. Upgrade. So we got one, I'll let you, I'll let this tick down so we can see it. And while I'm letting that tick down, I'm going to let these things collect. See these turf requests or turf quests rather, we're going to let all of those stay right there and we're not going to collect them. And I'll show you why later, but the admin quests, we do want to do that with, we want to start one and when it gets finished, you'll be able to collect it later you'll be able to auto collect things. Um, you can also buy a pack that allows you to auto collect. VIP quest, 
I only have one chest to open right now. But as you grow into VIP all the way up to 15, you get to open more chests throughout the day. And there's about, I believe, a one hour timer in between chests in order to open, up, open them up. So we've got that stuff working for us. And I'm just going to collect these and try and open whatever chests I can. And I can go into emotes. I have to join a guild, which I will do soon. But one of the first things I want to do is I want to go into my account and link it to my Gmail. Um, you can also link it to Facebook, let's say if you want to switch from Android to iOS or back and forth or from one device to another, then you'll hit switch device, you'll link it up to, you have to be signed into your Facebook and then you'll link it up and then that will allow you to switch from one device to another. Um, you can also log in if you have some different Facebook accounts. Now, I'm going to link up Gmail and I'm going to use that account. Allow account linked. Bingo. You see, if I switch account, I can go into my guest account on this device or I can sign in with Google. And if I hit sign in with Google, I have an account here, here, and then this one that I just created. So I have three different accounts. This one is a bank that I created, which we'll talk about later. This one is my main account and then this one is my alt account and now this one that we are working on now which is uh, this brand new account so let's exit out of here now that's important because if I lose my device or if I accidentally create a new account or if I switch an account I want to be able to get this account back some people think oh now that I know a lot more I'm gonna go up in might super fast so you look at this might here and I have zero kills I have 4,690 might, which is nothing burger. But a lot of people will think, oh, now that I know more, I'm going to go up in might so much faster. And really, in the beginning, it's just a lot of clicking. It's a lot of clicking around. It's not doing very much in the game. Um, and that's exactly what you're going to see me do for a minute here. But I'm not going to drag you through all of that stuff. So instead, let's see, how long did that have? That is 11 minutes. Let's go ahead and speed it up again. You don't want to use these gems too often. They come in handy down the road. I'm just using them for the case of this video. You don't want to sit here and watch me do all this stuff. Now, we do probably have enough soldiers to do the very first battle. Look at this. In the kingdom, we can look and see what everybody is talking about in this kingdom and what they're doing. Let's see if we can spot any of the bigger accounts. Now, right here where my picture is in the way there's a little button that'll take you out to this main kingdom and they'll give you some information hopefully and then they're going to show me how to get back won't let me do anything till I do that so now you can see all these around me these are all brand new castles and the kingdom we're in is 852 we're in kingdom 852 let's see if I can go out here yet yeah so right here is 852 and I'm in another kingdom I just came from kingdom 817 this is the base let's see who owns the base base info no owner great so this is a really new kingdom how long is it protected for three more hours Wow and then you're going to start seeing people take this base over. So if we navigate around, we can see Tempest Fort. Are there players around it? Yeah, so we have a guild starting to form here. Look at this. We already have a Castle 17 in the game. So that's getting up there. You can start to, join, you can start to do a lot with that. Um, I'm going to view their profile, and I'm going to look at their guild. So right now they have 10 million might in their guild. Is it just that guy? Well, let's see. Might ranking. So we have 3 million might from that guy and a bunch from everybody else. Just kind of random. Looks like they've already got 95 players. So they might be able to come in, these guys here, 
they might be able to come in and just start messing everybody up around them. You'll see those kills jump up. 78,000 is already a good chunk in this newer kingdom. And especially with all these shielded castles, there's not as many to hit. Like that one has zero uh, kills, even though it's unshielded. So that means I could go and attack it. But as soon as you attack something, you're going to lose your shield. And so when, when you want to renew your shield to come over here into this bag, into this backpack thing, and you're going to click combat, and you'll have a list of items. And if it's available to you, a shield will be there. You, initially, you get a little, I believe it's a five, uh, let's see, it's a three-day shield. So right here, just beneath your resources, you're going to have this little button. And this is going to come in very handy for you over time. This shows you your shield and records. How many shields you've used, what time you started, and, and what, what time you started them, and what time the shield ended. And let's go back in to the main, oh, can I get it to work? There we go. Okay, so now that we're back in here, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this guy, just because I can. Boom. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one. And when we hit upgrade, it's automatically going to use the resources that we need. You could also hit the individual resource, and you can say stack and use whatever you need. You can auto use, which will automatically do it. Or you can just say upgrade and use, and it'll upgrade everything that you need. So now it's asking me to speed up. And how much time we got? 11 minutes. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that one more time. So, boom. I've upgraded to Castle 3. And right here, that'll add Turf Quest. It'll eventually, it only shows you these top five here, but then it'll show you another one. So if I press Collect, boom. I leveled up and I'll show you what that means but there's still five there all the time so upgrade castle wall to level two and it'll tell me everything that I've done so I've upgraded that to four and that to four and I can upgrade this to three let's see four minutes yep that's gonna be free to do so why not login gifts you want to do this every single day especially oops crap I wasn't familiar with that so I just clicked the button a little hastily, and that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And I'm okay with Incinerator because I use her a lot. So on the second day, and tomorrow, I'm gonna be able to get this free one. I'm gonna claim this gift that's here today, and that little heart's also gonna be helpful. And let's see, I can change? Ooh. So Scarlet Bolt, Death Knight, upgradable yeah well I like it log in for seven days to get medals very cool I like all three of those heroes and they're all free heroes not ones that you have to pay for so if I log in a couple days in a row I'm gonna get 10 medals and then another 10 and then another 10 that'll give me 30 and that'll give me enough to upgrade her so if I go in here I've got these heroes and when I click on them, I have their level, I have their rank, and I have their medals. So medals are going to be helpful in getting these guys to have better skills. And so if you click on this little side here, it will tell you what skills they have. And this, as I progress right here, so going back, these medals allow me to upgrade uh, color the color of the hero right now the hero is just at the base color gray silver whatever you want to call that now next it'll go green then blue then purple I would say and then gold purple so each time you go up it's going to give you a little bit additional skill and as you go up in rank it'll allow you to have these types of skills. So uh, unlocks at rank two, unlocks at rank four, and finally at seven. And uh, so 
this becomes really important to a lot of aspects of the game. But let's go ahead and digress for a moment and go back down to this. I think we need to upgrade our barracks because why not? We also want to go and join a guild as soon as possible because guilds are going to become really important. So let's look around and see. Okay. So join a guild, create a guild, join a guild. I think... Hmm, I'm debating whether I want to create a guild and be the leader and help people along the way, answer questions, that kind of thing. Um, maybe that's a good idea because if they have questions, maybe you're having some of the same questions. And if not, just go ahead and hit me up in the comments and I'll help you out through that. But it makes a big difference kind of how you handle your game. It's this game is closer to chess than it is checkers. Some games are really straightforward. You just, you know, you play your pieces and these are the standard pieces and that's it. And you just move at a diagonal and you try and hop over and try and get yourself keen. So all that stuff starts to matter um, in checkers just a little bit. But in chess, obviously you have this pawn can move forward two on the first one and only one from then on and it attacks diagonally then you have your rook and your bishop and your queen and you have all these different little pieces and everybody plays it a totally different way than everybody else so this game's a lot more like chess where you're just going to make your own decisions which is why i also click off the functions and where it tells me uh let's see where was that auto expand q nope recommend quests you'll get that little pop-up down at the bottom telling you in your turf let's see so in your turf it'll tell you what it recommends heck i'll just turn it on real quick okay go complete skirmish one conquest conquest of blithia and then i can go do that and then it'll tell me the next thing and the next thing but the problem is if you follow that then you're going to get a little bit of each thing done but you're not going to be headed in a steady direction that's going to get you where you want to be fast get you protected fast and get you enjoying the game more fast because what's eventually going to happen is your shield's going to drop people are going to start attacking you and you're not going to be able to build troops you're not going to be able to have as much fun with the game so if you follow just basics of the game you're going to find yourself losing a lot and and trying to figure it out on your own so try and Follow along in your own way. I'll give you some tips, but really take it and run with it your own way. So let's go in there and turn that back off because I don't like it blinking around there. But I'm going to go join a guild. I'm going to find a guild, join one. This base is big. It's the biggest fort. If you can see around here, we have Tempest Fort, Bright Fort, Sky Fort, so on, and, the, and then the base. The base has a lot more gl grass or wonder around it. This is the wonder area, the wonder battle zone. And these guilds around it typically are the stronger guilds. They try and station themselves around the base for dominance. And so people join them. Um, here we go. Here's a nice little 15 level castle, level 15 castle. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice size guild here. All right, let's see. New profile guild. English speaking members, 100 of 100. So I'm going to send this guy a message. Uh, they have a lot of an, uh, accounts, but I assume not all of those accounts are active. So I'm just going to send them a message asking them to let me join and uh, hopefully I can join a nice strong guild because you're gonna find yourself getting more gifts and stuff like that. Or do I want to create one? Let's see here. No, you know what? There's still gonna be enough questions here. Um, let's see. Tell you what, 
it'll be a little bit more fun if I get my own followers. So if you're on YouTube and you have a newer account, you navigate to this kingdom. I'll just start a new guild so that if you want, you can join me. Create a guild. Oh, got to get to level six first. Well, in that case, I'm just going to join a random guild. All right, let's do that. So at level six, I will create a guild. Until then, I try and choose a guild that's English. That way I can just understand everyone a little bit better and they can understand me a little bit better. The translator does work here, but not always completely and sometimes language is a little bit tricky. Oops, uh, didn't mean to do that. Don't want to scout them yet, that'll drop my shield. So I'll probably skip past this part for you as I'm looking for that guild to join. There we go. All right, so for now, hopefully I'll get in a guild. And I can start seeing monsters and hunt monsters and all that good stuff. But for now, let's go ahead and get this first battle done. After this battle, I'll probably stop the video there and we can call that first section good. This will get you a generally good start. Keep upgrading your, your basics. Keep on looking around and playing around with all the items and join a guild. You're going to learn how to hunt. You're going to learn how to do some of that stuff. You can follow along with the basics of the game uh, with what they suggest to do. And maybe that will help you understand some of the things that I'm kind of breezing over. Uh, but I assure you after time, uh, this kind of content that I'm providing will actually help you come much further, much faster than just following the basic game guideline that they provide you. So that said, this gives me, okay, so they, okay, they want me to do this exactly as they're asking me to do. All right, deploy. Sometimes it forces your hand and you don't really have a choice, so... This one's very basic, and we're going to crush the enemy, they're going to run away, and we're going to win, and we're going to open up some turf for us to go out and build more stuff on within, within our castle. And you can skip this by just saying leave. You can pause and leave. The battle's already happened. You can watch it if you want as well, and that's pretty cool, and you learn from it. New turf. All right, level three. Let me go ahead and show you that before we end the video. This new turf is going to allow you to build one of each of these. That's all I would build, especially of a farm. Never ever build more than one farm unless you plan on making a, a food hyper. I don't really see the benefit, especially if you're trying to protect yourself and uh, build troops now if you build a separate account where it's a food hyper and you're not going to have any troops troops eat the food They don't use the rest of these resources, but they do eat down your food and so That's something to think about um, only I would recommend building one of each of these before you move on and This right here. Okay, these are your talent points you you continue as you grow in level right now I'm level three I need 1500 points to get on to level four as I use these turf quests let's go ahead and get another one going we're going to collect that and start another and as I get these turf quests built up I can start collecting them and you'll see your level jump up because every time you collect it most of them are going to have this experience for your hero it becomes really important to save those because what you want to do is build them way up and then you want to jump over here and you're going to have, I don't know if I have it yet, I do, player experience boost. And you can buy those for 2,500 gems, which takes just a sec to save up, but well worth the time. So don't collect those until you can at least do that. 
it gives you a 25 experience 25 percent experience boost that way as you start collecting those you're more likely to jump up and get more points here um, 133 out of 1500 and that gets pretty big after a while to go from uh, it's like 7 million to get to level 59 and then go from level 59 to 60 which is the highest level in the game it's going to take you like 21 million so that all said oh declined that's okay bro so what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna add these to the only place that really makes sense at this time to me which is on to food boom boom that opened up this one you needed two food to open up see requires level two food production which is exactly what i have there in order to open up the next one so to open up construction speed i'm going to need two stone production as you get down here later into construction speed two for example you're going to need five ore so this ore right here you're going to need level five of that in order to even start building on this my goal initially and what i recommend is going into this construction speed and research research is king in this game um, they've adjusted it a little bit which is good uh, they have these new things called techno labs I want to I want to don't I think it's pronounced that way in any case um, they have these new things that really help bring on your technology uh, your research so that you can do more and be stronger in the game faster stronger uh, smarter, you know, I mean everything is about research in this game. It becomes very important to research uh, To build up your research you're gonna have gear that you can build and, and I won't go into all the details now But research is king and that's what you should know so that said I Think I'm gonna end the video here uh, Take the time to build up those talents and levels let the turf Quests build up before you use them and that'll help you accelerate what you do and uh, one thing it should have yes turf club so turf club is a 9.99 a month subscription that automatically gives you that that 25 percent player boost and you can stack that with the player pill is what i call it a player boost um so i say pop a pill pop a player boost pill pop a uh, max army size pill and when i say that kind of stuff this is what i mean uh, but the player experience boost on top of having that turf club will give you that 50% player experience boost. And if you have both of those going at the same time, that's when you want to start opening up your turf quest. And you're going to jump up and level a lot. And your level starts to matter a lot because your heroes can only get as strong as you are. So I have this guy here. I can change him. I can change him from her to him him to her I can say confirm and he'll be my current leader and I can replace him with her doesn't really matter but what does matter is this level here your heroes he's level three now and she is level one in the beginning it's gonna let you go past your own level past your own player level I think up to maybe 10 or something like that we'll see what it is but It'll let you pass your player level. Eventually, you can only max out your heroes to be the same level as you are in your player level here. Uh, so you want to do everything that you can to boost that up. Later, it'll matter for getting things like gear here. When we're trying to level up our rank, you have to be of a certain level to hold certain gear. In this case, it requires level 1. So I have to go and beat that level in order to get this gear, which I will again show you in the next video. That's it, guys. Uh, good luck getting your game started. I will be back with more information the next time. Catch you there.